welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. So I have three spooky stories for you all. So if you're interested in hearing these little three spooky stories I'm doing for my ghost tales series this Halloween, please keep on watching. So I have three stories I have found on a little link on Google. I was looking up spooky stories and it's Whole thought catalog so I'm not sure if these stories are real or if people just wrote them on this site but I'm gonna read them to you and yeah tell me what you think okay so story number one is hide and seek with Allie When I was very young, about three or four, I remember having a friend named Allie. Allie lived with me, and I would play hide-and-seek with her in the backyard. Allie was a year older than me. Allie loved my mom, but wouldn't stay long enough to meet her. My mom didn't believe I had a friend named Allie. I kept telling her, and my mom, the first time I told her, her face got very white, and she told me to stop it. She also told me Allie isn't real. Well, one night, Allie said she had to leave, so she did. I never heard from her again. Fast forward to when I was 16. Mom told me I had a sister named Allie. She had passed away due to complications. I can't remember exactly what it was. I believe it had to do with something about her lungs. My mom tells me it was probably just all a coincidence since a divorce was going on during that time and I wanted a friend. But I still remember everything about and I refuse to believe it was all just pretend. Okay, everybody, spooky story number two is called Not Alone in Bed. A few weeks ago, my girlfriend and I were sleeping together when I woke up to her saying, What are you doing? She sometimes talks in her sleep, but this sounded so coherent and urgent. Bolted me awake. And I asked her what she was talking about. She then woke up and said she thought she saw someone standing at the end of the bed. Thinking it was just a dream or some semi-awake hallucination, we thought nothing of it. Back to sleep. About an hour later, I woke up and saw someone standing in the bed. the sheets wrapped up and twisted to their neck. I didn't know what to do, but the first thing that came out of my mouth is, what are you doing? My girlfriend then woke me up. I had been dreaming the exact same thing that she had, and I said the exact same thing. Story number three, and this one's creepy and sad at the same time, so yeah. He saw baby-sized handprints on the windows. My friend and a few of his college buddies were going on a ghost hunt and had heard about some graveyard where children were murdered by their mother, allegedly, and had been buried in that graveyard. The graveyard was located off the main road. The group of five to seven people, I believe, got out and followed a small path through the woods for a couple of until they reached the graveyard. Once there, nothing exciting happened for the first 10 minutes or so, and then they had tried everything, the website or wherever they heard the story. With nothing resulting, they got bored. And being typical college kids, started taunting the supposed ghost of the mother. This continued for a few minutes, 
before they went back to the car to go to the washroom. So the group had to head back. They left the car unlocked, or at least they thought they did. When they got there, it was locked. They tried opening the doors and realized that it was locked and they had to unlock them. So at first they thought it was just a bad memory. But later on, he dropped all his friends off and him and his one roommate lived in like the same place and they kind of pulled in at the same time. My mate pulled in behind him. He was already out of the vehicle, but his lights shined on the back of his hall. And when he looked back at his vehicle, he saw baby sized handprints and he was confused. He thought, why is, you know, kids handprints on my window? I don't have kids. I don't really know any kids. Maybe it's just neighborhood kids, whatever. He just went to go wipe them off with his sleeve. But realized that the baby handprints were coming from the inside of the window. Okay, everybody, I really hope you all enjoyed these three spooky stories. If there are any spooky stories you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you all for watching my video tonight, and stay spooky. Bye!